So welcome to TechnoDad Life and on today's episode we're going to be going over how to install Open Media Vault to a USB drive. And so what we're going to be doing is three things. So one is your preparation, what you need to buy and actually do to install it. Next, we're going to give you the links on how to install it because the installation process is basically the same. And then finally, a few things you need to do afterwards, which are special for when you're using a USB drive as your boot drive. And if you like this video, make sure you like it. And if you haven't already subscribe, and here we go now. So how do we install Open Media Vault to a USB disk? We'll take you through the outline here and I'm going to be leaving links down below in the description to help you along and just click on those for everything you need. So this is what Open Media Vault looks like once it's installed. So first thing we're gonna do is we have to download Open Media Vault and we're gonna go just Google Open Media Vault download. You'll be taken to this page. And then right here, click on the blue here, and that will take you here. If you have a x86 or 64-bit computer, AMD or Intel based, you would click on 4.1.3, uh, which is the most current version right now. And then click on Open Media Vault 4.1.3 here and download. So this does not work uh, for Raspberry Pis. So once you've done that, you need to download some CD burning software because basically to install to USB easily, you need to burn a CD and install via, via CD. You can do it through USB, but it causes all sorts of problems on different ports and you have to fix all sorts of things. Uh, I would not recommend doing that. I would just recommend uh, burning a CD and then installing that way. So once you've burnt or uh, downloaded the CD information, then you open up the CD burning software, click on burn ISO, click OK, browse to your image, click open, and then you can just click burn disk and start. So next what we need to talk about is the hardware that's required. So basically, you can either, you'll have a USB 2 or a USB 3 header port inside of your computer that's open. If you have USB 3 on the outside, you'll have USB 3 on the inside. So two things. So one is USB 2 will be slow. So you will have uh, errors. I forget what they are actually at the moment, but it will say something like uh, busy or something like that. And then uh, it will eventually do whatever you do. So I've done this on USB 2. I would not recommend it, but if you do decide you do need to do that because of a lack of ports for your hard drives, this is the recommend. These are the uh, things that I've used. So basically, just a cheap USB drive. I would recommend a name brand one, and this is one that I used. As you can see here, I actually purchased this one. And so this is a SanDisk Cruiser Fit. Uh, you don't need to get a large one. Basically, the smaller, the better. I chose this one because it was actually the cheapest one. Next, you'll need to get an adapter port for your motherboard. So basically, there's two different kinds. There's the board that attaches to your motherboard. So as you can see here, this one actually has a hard board and I wouldn't recommend getting this one. I actually have both and I'll show you a picture of those right here. Uh, and because things get in the way. So basically on one computer, hard drives got in the way. On another computer, the power supply got in the way. So uh, you can try this, but I would not recommend it. What I would recommend instead is a cable. This you can see there's the USB header for the board and then it has a flexible cable and so then it can bend around or move around different uh, things that are in your computer and then you just plug the USB drive into this end of the cable. Next if you're going to be using USB there's sort of a lack of small 
uh, storage on drives, uh, but uh, this was one I found, SanDisk. It's only 16 gigabytes. Again, we want as small as possible because we're not going to be using up the whole disk for Open Media Vault. And then uh, for the internal ports, uh, this is one that I found. So this is an add-on item, and so if you have order more than $25, then you can get this only for $4.99. This has room for two to hook up two USB devices internally, but I wouldn't recommend doing doing that. Just hook up one. Again, you have the option of a just a standoff. Uh, I would again not do this just in case anything's blocking the way. I would use the cables. If you don't want to spend twenty five dollars on Amazon, here's one that's just seven ninety nine. Once you've done that, you're going to put your CD in and then do a normal Open Media Vault install and install to the USB disk. Once we have that installed to our USB disk, we want to install Open Media Vault Extras. And so these steps are exactly the same as the regular Open Media Vault. So I'm not going to, or installing to a regular disk on Open Media Vault. So I'm not going to go over those because you can watch the other tutorial for that. And then you have OME Extras uh, installed. And once that's installed, click on Plugins. Up in this box, we're going to type Flash. And then that will bring up the Flash Memory plugin. Yours should be not green here. Once it's green, it's installed. So for you, you're going to click on this box and then click Install. Once that's installed, the Flash Memory plugin will appear over here. And if we click on that, we actually don't have to do anything. It's already working. Uh, this notes here are optional and I did a whole uh, video about flash memory plugin. I wouldn't recommend doing this uh, if it's something critical for, uh, unless for a critical system. You can make your disk read only doing this. So I would just avoid doing this at this time. And so what the flash memory plugin does is uh, saves your system into your onto your memory so then it's not writing to the flash drive all the time so then it extends the life of the flash drive so that's all the things that you would need to install to a USB flash drive again I'll link uh, down in the description below to everything you need including the drives and what software you need and uh, also to the videos that I mentioned in here and as always, have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.